So the next and the last topic of our unit electricity is transformers. We all know a transformer is a device used to change the voltage of an alternating current. The transformer which converts low voltage to high voltage is called a step up transformer and one which converts high voltage to low voltage is called a step down transformer. Then the construction of the transformer. The transformer consists of a rectangular core of soft iron in the form of laminae insulated from one another. If the number of coils in the primary is less than that of secondary which is called a step up transformer and if the number of coils in the primary is greater than secondary which is called a step down transformer. Step up transformers are used to increase the voltage and step down transformers are used to decrease the voltage. There is another type of classification core type and the shell type transformers. The figure explains it clearly. In the core type the iron core is largely surrounded by the coil and in the shell type both the primary and secondary coils are mounted on the laminated soft iron core as shown in the figure. If we have a core type, we have a core type of the input end of the primary windings and the output end of the secondary windings. If we have a shell type, we have a primary and secondary portion of the mount. If we have an advantage, we have a shell type of primary coils associated with the flux complete with the secondary coils. Then the working of a transformer. We know the uh, basic principle of transformer is mutual induction. When an alternating EMF is applied to the primary, the magnetic flux associated with the secondary also changes and an induced EMF is produced in the secondary coil. Namala oru AC EMF transformer in the primary coil apply the AC EMF apply आई एसी करंट फ्लो चाहिए ना देते भला माये टे हमारे सॉफ्ट एंड कॉर्ल ला औरो मैग्नेटिक फ्लक्स क्रिएट ये पड़ना औरो मैग्नेटिक फील्ड क्रिएट ये पड़ना ये औरो मैग्नेटिक फील्ड कंटिन्यूस ऐड टे चेंज ये दोन डरेकी बना कारण ना हमारा अप्लाई ना एसी डे डायरेक्शन कंटिन्यूस से to the primary and ES is the induced EMF in the secondary. Then formation ratio is ES divided by EP is equal to NS divided by NP. For an ideal transformer EP into IP is equal to ES into IS. That is, we call IP in the input current. EP in the input current is primary EMF. ES and IS are the EMF and current in the secondary. अगर ना अनेक लोग आइडियल ट्रांसफार्मर ने संबंधित चढ़ता होगा, हम रेंडर सल्टम पावर एक्वल आए रखेंगे। ना हम लोग कोड़ को ना इनपुट इंजे पावर आधे बोले तो ना हमका आउटपुट टेले किटना। अल्ले अपो सो पावर के इक्वेशन आना E into I, that's why we can write for an ideal transformer E P into I P is equal to E S into I S. But in actual transformers, the output power will be always less than the input power due to some power losses. But for an ideal transformer, we can write ES divided by EP is equal to IP divided by IS is equal to NS divided by NP. NS and NP are the number of turns in the secondary and primary. Then the efficiency of an transformer is given by eta is equal to output power divided by input power. ES into IS divided by EP into IP. For an ideal transformer, this efficiency or eta is equal to 1. But for the practical transformers, eta is less than 1. Although a transformer is a very efficient machine, there are some of uh, losses are there. They are The main losses in a transformer are copper loss, iron loss, magnetic flux leakage and hysteresis loss. 
Then the first one is copper loss. And then copper loss. We know the primary and secondary coils which consist of copper wires. Up a copper wire now which have some resistance. So when current passes through the copper wires, heat is produced. This heat brings a small amount of energy loss. This loss is called a copper loss. This may be minimized by using winding wires of very low resistance. Resistance is very low. Winding wires you see in the way we loss or the minimize the Then the second one is iron loss which is also called the eddy current loss. Eddy current is very low. We transformer load current pass. That is the iron core loop of current created. Small loops of current. That is the eddy current. Uh, uh, energy ne iron loss alengil, eddy current loss the lamination of the iron core minimizes this type of loss then the third one is magnetic flux leakage magnetic flux leakage ennu parayunnathu nammude primary ayittu associate cheyidu nikkuna complete flux um secondary um ayittu associate cheyidu varunnilla appo angane verumbo a small amount of energy supplied to the primary may be wasted adu reduce cheyan venditte namakku shell type transformers use cheyam that's why shell type is more preferred than the core type transformers then the fourth one is hysteresis loss when the iron core undergoes a cycle of magnetization, the core gets heated due to hysteresis. We will AC current and apply it. Continuous side direction change in the magnetization and demagnetization continuous side to the heat and the core magnet rectangular core. That is the loss in the hysteresis loss. It can be minimized by using soft iron core. We soft iron core use in the hysteresis loss steel material you see in a column uh, we soft and core you see in the your hysteresis loss maximum or can be India then goes to the theory of the transformer we will the transformation ratio in the case of an ideal transformer the flux linked with the each turn of the primary is also linked with the each turn of the secondary so the total flux linked with the primary is given by phi p is equal to n p into phi n p is the number of turns in the primary and phi is the flux linked with the primary therefore the induced emf in the primary is given by e p is equal to minus d phi p divided by dt then the emf in the secondary is given by es is equal to minus ns into d5 by dt dividing the equation number second by the equation number one so we get es divided by ep is equal to ns divided by np so for an ideal transformer we can write is divided by ip is equal to ep divided by es is equal to np divided by ns IS and IP are the current in the secondary and primary and EP and ES is the EMF in the primary and secondary and NP and NS represents the number of turns in the primary and the number of turns in the secondary. Then the transmission of power. We electrical energy created in the long distance. We transmit AC current in long distance. We have to minimize the transmission loss heat in the formula or bad energy loss in chance and up our heat energy loss number maximum correct we know the equation for heat h is equal to i square rt sriddhikiga i square on current in the square on that means transmit to change the summit the number of current maximum correction earth on heat energy loss heat loss correct yeah main detail number transmit in the summit the current maximum correction earth on then Random that is the kind of material guardian or another power namaka koraya padilla namala creative put in the power and in a q c in the seltum kitana power and equation we know p is equal to voltage into current v into i heat loss korakana mengila current maximum koranikana power korayan in padilla so we have to increase the voltage hence the power generated at the generating station is stepped up to a high voltage by using the step up transformers and then transmitted to the distant places 
and at a substations it is stepped down to 11 kV by using step down transformers. It is further stepped down to 220 volt for household and 440 volt for factories etc.